Now, as far as uh, passport girls dating overseas, when it comes to feminine women, or just how women are raised, yeah. would you be able to speak on that? You know, how that goes over there in Pakistan? So, I remember like when I became a teenager, or at least when I was about like 14, 15 years old, like it was a very normal thing for my mom to take me to like a salon to get, you know, my nails done, my hair done, things like that. And mind you, it is like, pretty affordable over there but a lot of girls like it, it wasn't just me like it's very common practice for you to get you know done up and get very like in your feminine aspect like you want to get your hair done you want to look pretty and stuff like that so I feel like women over there have this thing in them where they kind of want to present themselves like that and I feel like it makes them more well, I feel like it's kind of like an instinct thing like obviously men are attracted to that so it's definitely more common there to like try to get yourself a little bit more done, done up and be presentable. Um, and I agree with that because I, I, like even women like have this like boss attitude over here I feel like sometimes and that doesn't necessarily mean that they won't take care of themselves but maybe they won't prioritize that or they'll be right. like oh like what's it matter like it should be like what's on the inside whatever which I agree with obviously it should but at the same time like why would you not want to like not even just for like a man but for yourself like like if you're a woman and you're saying you don't like to you know dress up and like do these like feminine things then I feel like you're lying to yourself because that's just like inherently like the nature of a female to like want to indulge in those things that make her a woman yeah right, right. so it's, it's just like it's more popular over there over here it is more like, popular why do I have to do that why do I have to dress like this yeah you know, a little more masculine tendencies yeah like women will put a little more effort into things like that um, I don't know why they don't do that here. I never really understood it personally, but that's just how it is, I guess. Maybe it could be some like social media, maybe just like the boss babe stuff. Like, you gotta be bossed up, or yeah. you know, well. Uh, there's there's something about boss babe culture where I like, like I have my points of contention with it sometimes. Really? Cause I'm like, I understand like wanting to hustle for yourself. Like I fully understand, I, I support that. Like I support women like working and you know, like doing what they want from themselves. But I feel like, there's an extent to it where it's like I feel like you're lying to yourself when you keep promoting that because it's like why would you why are you fighting against like a man wanting to provide for you at the end of the day like you're the one benefiting if he's gonna like provide for you make for you make you a housewife you could have time to like be pretty and like do like things like that you don't have to like sit in the office all day and like you have time to raise your children. Like, I feel like there's an extent to it. Like, you shouldn't, it's okay to ask for help, basically. You should let men do some things for you. Like, it's fine. It, it won't interfere with your, like, sense It's not of, gonna kill you. Yeah, it's not gonna kill you. Like, at the end of the day, it's probably gonna benefit you. So don't fight against it. Like, we, we heard, yeah, like, you get your rights. It's okay. Like, sometimes it's just okay to stop being, like, angry about that stuff, I feel like. So, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha.